Fast food restaurant chains have dominated the world for a long time. Burger King, for example, has opened more than 16,000 restaurants in some 100 countries. McDonald even has more extensive coverage with 36,000 restaurants, according to IBIS World. The total value of fast food industry is valued at 651 billion US dollars each year. However, these giants have struggled to conquer Vietnamese market. In this video, let us answer the question, why do McDonald's and Burger King in particular and the fast food industry in general struggle in Vietnam? The first McDonald's restaurant in Ho Chi Minh City and also in Vietnam in 2014 was a big hit with thousands of people queuing for hours just for Big Macs. With a striking beginning, McDonald's was forecast to capture Vietnamese market in no time. Yet, four years later, the number of McDonald's restaurants in Vietnam is still modest with only 17. The situation is even gloomier for Burger King, with only 13 restaurants although it entered Vietnam in 2011. The failure of these giants is considered an unprecedented phenomenon given the massive success in other countries. Does this signal a massive failure of the two giants in Vietnam? First, let's discuss the industry's name, fast food. The industry's competitive edge is fast-serving food. You may have not heard McDonald's or Burger King officially complain, but they actually lost their competitive edge to Bang Mi. Discussing fast serving criteria, Bang Mi is even faster than any fast food brand. Name your order, Bang Mi shop owners will deliver your dish at a wink. Bang Mi is mentioned here and it shares a lot of similarities with burgers. Apart from Bang Mi, other dishes such as sticky rice and pork buns are also served very fast. Second, a McDonald's or Burger King's burger may cost you more than $2, sometimes 4 According to statistics from Vietnam Labor Union, average monthly income of Vietnamese laborers is only 236 US dollars. It's not that McDonald's or Burger King is unaffordable, but it shows that fast food consumption cannot be a frequent habit among most Vietnamese people. However, with their income, there are various yummy choices for them when it comes to Vietnamese street food. Statistics from European Economic Commission reveal that Vietnamese people spend a large proportion of their income on food. However, 78 of food spending is attributed to local suppliers and fast food brands only get 1%. The number portrays the skewed balance between local food and fast food giants. However, not all fast food giants have stumbled in Vietnam. Strategy plays a very important role in the success in Vietnam. In 1997, KFC entered Vietnam. It struggled for the first few years with only 10 restaurants. However, the firm realized the bottom line of their issue and localized the flavor. For example, KFC chicken is often served with rice, a familiar food to Vietnamese people. KFC now has 130 restaurants in more than 21 cities and provinces nationwide. Many people may think localizing flavors is a piece of cake. However, flavor localization is rather risky as it may receive negative feedback from diners which may adversely impact the brand. Not to mention, localization may take away the traditional values of a brand. Despite its success, KFC also has a small proportion of consumers as its price is also high compared to average income for Vietnamese people. According to insiders, street food can provide consumers with twice as much as the portion provided by fast food brands at half the price. However, high prices are only the tip of the iceberg. An obvious yet rarely recognized fact hindering the breakthrough of fast food brand is the difference between cuisine cultures. In the United States or some other countries, fast food portions serving lone diners are favored by most consumers. Yet, Vietnamese people prefer gathering during meals and sharing dishes, which cannot be done with hamburgers. It's estimated that fast food restaurants' goers have dropped by 31% since 2016. 
of the country, Vietnamese street food vendors have welcomed more guests, up 70% year on year. McDonald's and Burger King do not give up easily as they have been attempting to diversify their menu to attract diners. Besides main courses, they also provide trendy side dishes and dessert like boba tea or squid roll. However, according to experts, more trainers' efforts are required for the giants to find a firm foothold in Vietnam apart from only adjusting menus. The catering service industry has recorded remarkable growth each year and has huge potential for development. However, fully unlocking these potentials is no piece of cake.